the Old West presents Classic Hunts in the American Outback, Survival in the Style of the Old West, starring the buffalo hunter, Lee Hawes. Ride along with Lee Hawes, fourth generation cowboy and keeper of a way of life that gives us a peek into how things were done in the West more than 150 years ago. Also brought to you by Austin and Halleck, Shoots in Black Powder, Doug Turnbull Restoration, Dixie Gunworks, Lone Star Rifle Company, and Paws Ranch Outfitters. Hi, I'm Lee Hawes. Welcome to Classic Hunts in the American Outback. This week I'm in western Kansas at the Tamarack Hunt Estate. It's a property that we manage for hunts. I've got some folks coming in from Austin Hallett, muzzle loaders, Ray Crow and his friends, and we're gonna be doing some hunting down here. So we're trying to get something barbecue. Well, so far, all I've got to show for my efforts are this one uh, little cottontail. Well, I don't think he's gonna feed the whole crew. So I'm gonna go get my dogs, my hog hunting dogs, and we're gonna bring them in. We're gonna see if we can't find some meat hog, you know, like say an 80 or 100 pound hog. Something like that. We don't want one of them big boars. We'll get one of them smaller ones, see if we can hunt one of them up and get him today before my company shows up. And then we'll fix him up on a spit and roast him. It'll be great. I'm gonna go get the dogs. Well, these are my Catahoula hunting dogs. And this old Mingo, he's ready to go here. He's got his, got his hog proof, bulletproof vest on there. He's wanting to go find him one. This one over here, back here, this is Cat. They're both purebred Catahoulas. Bred, to, bred and raised to hunt hogs and cattle and anything else you want found and bait up till you get there. Catahoulas, they came from the Louisiana region. They were created by the Indians breeding the Red Wolf with the Bucer and French breed that the French Catholic priests brought into the missions and DeSoto's war dogs, Spanish conquistador war dogs. They bred them all together, created what's known as the leopard spotted Catahoula or straight Catahoula cur. You guys ready? Hum up, let's go. Hum up. Let's go this way, guys. Hum up, hum up. Come up. Where you at, guys? Oh boy. Looky there. We know there's some snakes out here anyway. Nah, we'll find them hogs. They're probably holed up down here on the down here in the creek bottom with a lot of water. We had to watch out for them things though. They're gonna have to get him bait up, slowed down or something. Yep, get over here. Well, that's one thing about hog hunting. I kind of wondered about that. That's why I put my put my bowie knife on this morning. Uh, smaller kind of meat hog. Sometimes these dogs will catch him. And if you catch him like that, like old Mingo did here, you can't shoot him. You know, I, you know, you get take too big a risk of shooting the dogs. But that's the way it's done. Uh, Russians and all these other kind of hogs, these crosses and stuff, guys hunt them with dogs like this. And they usually have another catch dog. These dogs here kind of doubling up, uh, baying them up, and then using them. They're, they went ahead and caught. Well, we could have caught him alive, tied him up, and relocated him. But in this case, uh, he wouldn't make a very good barbecue if we relocated him, so. We're back here in Meade, Kansas at Tamarack Hunt Estates here at J.W. Vanderpool. This is our camp house here. We got this little fire going, kind of sitting around here, 
I talk about today's events. I got some guests with me. Of course, I got J.W. Vanderpool over here. I got uh, Barb Kerr here. I got Ray Crow here with Austin and Halleck, muzzle loaders. I got Brian Bachman over here. I got Ray Walters and his wife, Lana, from Shoot Magazine with us. And one of the things Ray Crow's brought is a new firearm. Ray, tell me about this new gun. Well, Austin and Halleck's been a little busy this last year. Uh, since last time I was down here visiting you and hunting, uh, we came out with a lever action muzzleloader. Well, that's a unique concept. It is very unique. Uh, one of the only ones that is going to be in mass production anyway. I know there's a few people out there that's probably done it, but uh, we're going to gonna go into production with it and for it, and it should be a really neat little unit. Well, the thing, the thing that I've seen, I picked it up a little bit earlier, but it's got the feel, the handle and the feel <laughs> it does. of the regular lever gun, you know, and that's what we all love, you it, know. Isn't it though? I mean, that, yeah. that, that lever gun, it just has a, a feeling of, of history to it. Well, that, yeah, uh, hi history and, and an old friend, you know, you that bet. kind of thing. Uh, it was my uh, first gun that my dad passed to me to go do some deer hunting. Sure. With, you know, that old Model 94 sure. 3030. I think it was so. everybody. <laughs> it should have been if it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's but, a time classic piece. Now when we open when we open the action, uh, basically what it does is let us have access to the breech plug because you got a yep. breech plug that'll come out. You betcha. And make it you know cleaning a lot easier Pointing and all that fun stuff. Yep. And then the primer just goes right on top here like it would if it was pulling out a case. Yeah, right on the face of the slide. It's uh, it's, it's pretty unique in that way, um, and it allows it to just go into a little cone shape. It's a positive engagement. Blowback reduces to a minimum. Sure, sure. It's, it's sure. a really slick system. Sure. And it's also, you know, you've got some good sights on it. You've got some true glow sights on it. Yes, sir. Uh, you've got a fiberglass ramrod. I mean, this thing's ready to go to the field and, and stay with you. you it know? should be. It should it's, be. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be fun. Well, I'm anxious to get it out there and shoot it when you ain't looking, and I'll borrow it maybe a little bit or something. <laughs> well, we could probably arrange that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> stay with us for more Classic Hunts in the American Outback. Live the experience with North America's premier authentic outfitter to the Old West, Buffalo Arms. Whether you're suiting up to reenact an historical battle or challenging yourself with a hunt reminiscent of our forefathers, Buffalo Arms has the clothing, the gear, the firearms, and shooting supplies to make it real. Shop online today at www.buffaloarms.com. Buffalo Arms, outfitters to the Old West. Hi, I'm Steve Bartkowski for the Christian Sportsman's Fellowship. As I pursue my love of the great outdoors and observe the beauty of God's creation, I often wonder how anyone, especially hunters and anglers, could be surrounded with such beautiful landscapes, the mountains, the streams, the forests and wildlife, and not have a desire to know the one who spoke creation into existence. Call us today at 1-800-705-7892 and learn how you can join with me in support of CSF. You'll be glad you did. hunting or competing, make every shot count with Schutzen. Schutzen Black Powder, our top of the line muzzle-loading cowboy action black powder, unmatched in today's market. Our Swiss Black Powder is produced in small batch sizes, ensuring consistency with every load, every time. Preferred by national and international competitors around the world. The powder of choice at the world's muzzle-loading competition. If you demand consistency in your black powder, demand Schutzen. Only, Only the, the best, best in world-class world black powder. powder. There we are back at the Classic Hunts in American Outback. We're in the Tamaracks here, Tamarack Hunt Estate. This is Ray Crow with Austin Halleck, and we're down here gonna hunt some big old boar hogs down in here with my dogs. Ray's got this new firearm he was gonna show us. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna try to do a little pig hunting with this. On the old, uh, the old 94 style. It uh, ought to be quick, good little brush gun yeah. for what we're doing here. This. This is thick stuff. I've been down here before, so right, right. I know what I'm uh, going to expect and uh, 
should be a, just a nice, quick little little site acquisition and, and stuff. It ought, it ought to work real well. That's cool. Chasing down pigs. A, a 94 style and a muzzle loader. 94 style and a muzzle loader. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's uh, uh, the only one in mass production. Um, dream of mine for quite a while. I mean, right, right. Uh, finally came right. to life and uh, shoots pretty right. good. And, yeah, that's a uh, and uh, smooth and oh yeah. You know, that's a. Uh, the thing of it is, you know, a lot of places guys want to use muzzle loaders just if not for the nostalgia for, for different seasons. You bet. Right? You bet. It but really yeah. opens it up. Oh, yeah. But this would this be handy, handy and easy to carry, easy to pack. You bet. Uh, yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's a pretty neat. Light thing. little saddle gun, brush gun, just like the old 94 was oh, absolutely. pictured. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Go ahead and turn her loose. All righty. I'll get her. Come up, Mingo. Just stay close. I'll leave that one here. She she pretty much stays close until I find something. We'll just work our way down through here. Okay. And uh, these dogs are working. Hunt them up, Mingo. Hunt them up. Hunt them up. Yeah. Well, Ray, if you see a hog or see a place that looks pretty piggy and you ain't got no dogs, holler at them. All righty. They'll come over there. Is this stuff thick or what, Ray? <laughs> Reminds me of last fall when I was down here, Lee. Yeah. Oh, Mingo working over there, Ray. Eh? Yeah, he's uh, he's coming back and forth through this stuff. Hey, I got a, I got an elk over here in front of me. Where's them hogs at? You may have come this side, Ray. Oh, sure. Get him now, get him. Coming back at me. Come on, go. Come on, ready. Go. That son of a gun wasn't gonna go down easy, was he? He was not. I mean, there's a, there's a shot right behind the ear there that, I mean, boy, well, you'd, have, you'd have thought that would have. You thought that at least slowed him down. Well, you'd have thought, but by the looks of the 
sweating uh, my hat somewhere back in the bush here in the tamarack kid. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, when the, the dog stopped him here and he turned, what he did, he turned to fight. And when I pulled the dog off for you to have this shot, I pulled, a, I, pull, I was pulling the dog and grabbing him off with one hand, and I was pulling my revolver with the other. <laughs> you bet. Because he uh, was, when I caught up to you, and uh, I, I was expecting him to kind of just wait and come through, and he's he's just right there waiting for us. So. Yeah, he was. He'd already turned, kind of like a bear. He'd turned, and we were coming through this clearing, and. and uh, you know that guy. I'll bet you weighs seven hundred pounds plus. <laughs> if he doesn't, I'll you be know, surprised. He's a, he's a European he's a domestic cruiser, and the guy. You know, on this stuff, you can't outrun him. I mean, there's no trees to climb. <laughs> That's the truth. Know? And uh, he knock you down, get you down. Yeah, you'd be in trouble then. Uh, man, you know, uh, yeah. somebody be collecting your life insurance or something. <laughs> That's the truth. Damn, old man. Yeah. Oh wow. All yeah. right, nah, well done, man. I Thanks, Lee. Play. That's good. that was a lot uh, of fun. Man. I mean, I. I can highly recommend this to anybody. I mean, the, the European style with the dogs. Yeah. That, yeah, uh, that just, puts a different twist on, on hunting for sure. And that, this was great fun. Yeah, easy. Workout too, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I said? We're hunting these Europeans and domestic crosses out and go stock us with straight Russians. Oh, that'll and, be a good blast. They're going to be this thing times times multiplied, you know. For aggressiveness. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that'll, know, that'll add the sense of adventure, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I better have his bulletproof underwear on when he gets down in here. <laughs> yeah, you he better, uh, him, but better be watching your back. <laughs> but you know where we where we bumped him out there, and then he kind of came in. You know, he came to the fixed stuff to make his stand. Oh, you bet. You know, he has the advantage back here. Right, and I think he knew in that water, the dog he couldn't he didn't he, he, he couldn't advantage move yep. very well in that water. But yeah, he's that's a big true. One, but he's cool. <laughs> big one. Yeah, let's uh, let's go up there and check him out. Yeah, all right, man. Oh, he looks yeah. like he's he'd he's jump done, up, he'd oh, scare us both, wouldn't he? <laughs> you know what? Ooh, yeah, I'll tell you what now. Look at that pig. That is a monster. That is a hog now. Oh, he, oh the big old tusk. He's Lord. Oh, man. I'm 6'3", long <laughs> arm. I got 37 inch arm. He, he's long, man. He's a monster. Oh, boy, we, you got him, man. Huh? After a while, I was beginning to wonder. I tell you. This tamarack ain't no place to climb out. Uh, <laughs> and I don't think you can run through it as fast as this guy can. No, I don't think so, man. <laughs> I don't think so. So he'd have uh, yeah. got us on the ground one way or another. That is a monster. Wow. What I'm going to show you today is how to do a patched round ball. Well, of course, first thing we're going to do is put our powder charge in here. And I'm using a, a measuring I made out of a 4570 cartridge. It holds just exactly the right amount of powder I want to use in this particular rifle. You can dump it in there and jostle it around. It works good. Now, the patched part, I gotta get it dug out of my bag here. There's all kinds, there's pre-cut patches, and this is not a pre-cut patch. You can see this is a piece of, kind of like muslin that you can buy it at, at stores and trade shops. And what you do is you chew on this. You get it all salivated, and then while you're doing that, you dig out a ball. Well, see, I should be doing that while I'm digging this ball out. Instead, I'm talking to you. But you get this ball out, give it a lubricate a little bit. You set that piece of material on there. You take the flat part of the ball, goes down right there. You push it. Start it down in there. Then, we take our knife. I'm gonna tap it just a smidgen. And then I cut. They make a small knife. It's also called a lot of times a patch knife. That's what it's for. You notice I didn't use a short starter. I just started her down. You want to make sure you get that all the way down there. See how that rod didn't bounce? That means there's some airspace between the powder charge and the patched ball. See that? Now, when it bounces, it's called pinging, but when it bounces, that means it's down tight and you're ready to go. 
Lone Star Rifle Company, manufacturer of fine rolling block rifles. From authentically patterned American Western firearms to custom designed rifles, Lone Star Sporting and Target Rifles gives you the benefit of over 25 years of award winning shooting and manufacturing excellence. Lone Star Rifle Company also offers customized gunsmithing to improve the performance and beauty of your existing rolling block rifle. Lone Star Rifle Company, doing one thing and doing it best. Hawes Ranch Outfitters. dedicated to preserving our Western heritage and those who made the West wild. Shoot Magazine is the only magazine dedicated to all aspects of Western action shooting. Covering guns, leather, events, clothing, and more, we ensure that every issue awakens the cowboy in all of us. Call us at 800-342-0904 or log on to shootmagazine.com to make your childhood dreams a reality. Live the experience with North America's premier authentic outfitter to the Old West, Buffalo Arms. Whether you're suiting up to reenact an historical battle or challenging yourself with a hunt reminiscent of our forefathers, Buffalo Arms has the clothing, the gear, the firearms, and shooting supplies to make it real. Shop online today at www.buffalowarms.com. Buffalo Arms, outfitters to the Old West. I'm down here on the creek bottom with Brian Bachman with the North American Bear Foundation and my two hog hunting dogs, and we're fixing on going hog hunting some more. Brian's carrying this new Austin Halleck lever action muzzle loader, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get it bloodied up a little bit. So let's follow along, we'll head on down through here. <laughs> Try to keep up. They call it driving dogs. Let's get them, hunt them up. I'll take the other side, I'll get wet first. Mango! This way! Come up! Let's go this way! Fallow? There's a fallow with a couple dot. of them underneath the trees there. Yeah. Got a ear missing. Fighting and turning things up. Yeah. Ski. Come over here, Brian. Come here, Mingo. Ski. Ski now, ski. What do you think? You're supposed to do that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he's going to probably get back up and go again here. Ski on him. They get so, these domestic crosses get so big and battle scarred and that, yeah. that uh, the other hogs, they fight. This guy here, he's a he's a big old guy, and he's still a he's a. We're gonna be able to get close to this thing to get him out. We may have just eat him right there. I don't know. Build a fire. Yeah. They had yeah. two day hunt. Build a fire. We had build one anyway. We may just have to cure him out right there. Yeah. Nah, he's a big old guy, huh? I don't know. Uh, we'll figure some way to get him out of here. Hey man, look here. He's down now. You sure? Well, I got my. I'll let you go first. Yeah, I'll, if I can get through this stuff, uh, if he moves, I'm gonna blast him. Holy smokes. That's a big pig. That is a big hog. Yeah, what do you think he weighs? Heck, probably weigh about 600 pounds, I'll bet. Mm. Man, old Mingo, you done good, boy. 
He says, yeah, pork chops tonight, man. Well, you doing good, that old, Thank you very that much. That 50 caliber muzzle loader. Fred put the thumps on him now. Yeah. He has some big old choppers on him, too. He does, looks like it's been broke off, too. Man, oh man. Old one. Well, this is the way it is down here in the Tamaracks. See you next week for more classic hunts in the American Outback. Buffalo Arms, outfitters to the Old West, would like to thank you for tuning in to Classic Hunts in the American Outback, survival in the style of the Old West, starring the buffalo hunter, Lee Hawes. Also brought to you by Austin and Halleck, Shoots in Black Powder, Doug Turnbull Restoration, Dixie Gunworks, Lone Star Rifle Company, and Paws Ranch Outfitters.